Okay, and once we're familiar with the general concept, now let's take a look at some examples. So in the app JSX, I want you to import 0, 05 and then the examples. And as far as the component, notice over here, we have a few more values. And basically, we still have the empty string, still have some kind of text, also a user, and we also have a Boolean value. And effectively, when it comes to or, quite often it is used to display some kind of default value. So let's say if I navigate here and if I set up a div, and then inside of that div, I want to go with some kind of heading two. Imagine this. I have some kind of value. In this case, I'm going to go with text. And if that value doesn't exist, then I want to go with some kind of default one. Now, if you're wondering, like, why value wouldn't exist, well, keep in mind that quite often we'll be getting stuff from the API. And it's not guaranteed that for all the items, that property is actually going to be there. So this is very useful where you can be like, okay, try to set this property. If not, then use the default value. And of course, let's go with name here. And you'll see that if the value is there, then of course, we'll display the value. So that is a pretty common approach for or operator in React. Now, when it comes to and, it's a little bit different, where instead of text, you essentially control what elements are going to be displayed. Now, I'm going to show you both examples where we use the elements as well as the components. Just keep in mind that both of them effectively work exactly the same way. So if I go here and right after text, I'm just going to go with the curlies and I'll say, if text evaluates to true, what do I want to do? Well, then I want to return a div with two heading twos. So let's go over here and let's say div, close div here. And then inside of the div, we want to go with those two heading twos. In one, I'm going to display the name. So I'm going to go over here and I'll say heading two, whatever, and return. And then right after that, we want to go with heading two. And I'm going to access the name over here. And notice once I save, I don't see anything. Why? Well, because this is false, correct? So this one is an empty one. And as a result, we don't return anything. Basically, we have nothing in the browser. And that's something important to keep in mind where in this case, there's always going to be that heading two tag. However, if we use and operator, and basically we set up whatever we want to return, you'll actually notice that there is no div with those heading twos. It just doesn't exist. So we only have this heading two with default value. We don't have that second div. Now, of course, if this is going to be truthy, if we'll add just, let's say, even one character, you'll right away notice that, first of all, since we have the OR operator here, it's going to display this one. And when it comes to text, well, now, since this evaluates to true, now we actually render div with those two heading twos. And of course, we access the name here as well. So those are pretty common approaches where, again, we use OR inside of the element if we want to display some kind of default one, and we use AND to control effectively what we return. Now, of course, this is going to be dynamic. At the moment, we're just hard coding, but normally this is going to be dynamic. So let me set it back here to an empty string. And again, notice how we're not returning anything. And before I show you the component example, let's also cover that we can use the NOT operator. So at the moment, this is falsy, right? That's why we don't display anything. However, if I stick a not operator in front of it, you'll see that actually everything is displayed. Now, if you're not familiar with not operator in the readme, essentially, you'll find code examples for vanilla JS. Again, I don't want to spend too much time on that because I want to move on with react topics. But again, if you need to jog your memory on the not operator, please utilize the readme where you'll find the vanilla JS examples. And of course, it's going to be easier to understand. So essentially, if I just stick here, the exclamation point in front of it, I'm good to go. I'm actually displaying this. Why? Well, because by default, essentially, this is palsy. However, with not operator, I'm looking for the opposite value. So now this is truthy. 
and I display it over here. Again, something important to keep in mind. So I'll copy and paste, I'll remove this one, and I'll just comment this one out over here, just so we don't have too many. And as always, you can reference the readme as well. And now, since we're familiar, uh, we can use the AND operator to return some elements. Why don't we also take a look how we can do the same thing with components. So below my first component, I want to go with second one, I'm going to go with const and then I'll just say some component. Now, I know that I'll pass the prop. So I'll write away the structure it. And essentially, I'm going to be looking for the name prop. So let's go over here. And then as far as the return, we'll do the same thing. It's just now we'll return from the component. So if I go with the return, then space, and I'll cheat a little bit, and I'm just going to copy and paste. So that's going to be my component. Let me scroll up over here. And I guess I'll do after not. So I'll set up over here a logic where essentially, if the value is true, then I want to return that component. And in this case, I'm going to be looking for the user, just to use a more complex example. So notice user, set user, use state, and this is an object. And of course, this will evaluate to true. So now let's scroll down. And let's say over here that if the user exists, only then I want to display the component. So I'll say over here some component, and then I want to pass in that name prop. Now what is it going to be equal to? Well, I'm going to go with name equals to user dot name, and then I want to close over here the component. And as you can see now in the browser, we have john, because that's the value over here. Again, both of them do exactly the same thing. So either you can return a bunch of elements, or you can set it up here in the component. And also, please keep in mind that like I keep saying, this is going to be dynamic. So essentially, you'll try to fetch the user from the database. If the user exists, then I want to display some kind of component with the values that represent that user. And if it doesn't exist, let's say if the API or database returns that this is null, what do you know, we're not displaying that component altogether. Hopefully that is clear. And up next, I also want to show you how we can use ternary operator in JSX.